Hello guys, welcome to this video. Um, this is just a quick demo on how you can set up your own Foster SMTP server to send bulk email messages. Foster SMTP server uh, it, uh, it's an application which allows you to send multi bulk in bulk delivery emails. So this is just a quick demo on how you can uh, run it on your own. So in case um, you are just joining us on this platform, you can do well by subscribing to our YouTube channel and also don't forget to share and like our video to stay updated on more related videos. Now uh, those are the commands you're going to be running for this program and if you, if you are interested in this getting this course you can just check the description below to get in touch with me on WhatsApp or via any other social media link. Alright guys, so I'm going to be running the next command. For our full video course would show you a step by step procedure what I want to make to put in place before you can set up your own SMT server. So right now I want to change the host name. Maybe you can check uh, I'm using the host name. Let's check the host name. You see I'm using the VPS host name. So I want to change this host name to my own domain. So the domain I'll be using in this video is this. So right now I will put in this command and then uh, copy this my domain name and you put in your domain name here. Copy all the whole command here then enter meaning that it's going to change the host name. So if I type in host name in this section now you can see our SMTP is now running on the let me now install my post SMTP server. So let's run this command. Don't worry, when you are getting my course, you're going to be getting full info. Yes, full step by step guide on how you can set up your host. So this is just a quick demo showing you how it is done. It's not a full video actually. So just check on my description below this video. Get in touch with me on my WhatsApp two three four nine zero three six four one zero four six nine. You should email us for the full video course. Don't forget this course is not a free course, it's a paid course. If you're not ready to pay for it, it's not a free course. Please note that. So once you're done with the whole setup, we have to create poster using this command poster in Initialize and let's see if um, everything will be running. Okay, so we'll move to the next thing. So, after this, we we'll create a user. Then, once you're done creating a user, then you move into your DNS from your domain manager and set up your DNS. And then you go to your reverse DNS to set it up so you start sending your fork email. So, let's wait for this right quick and Okay, good. You can see everything is running. Um, done, done, done. Uh, as you can see, we have a uh, complete setup like this. Yes, everything is done. Then you have to make a new user using this post and make a new user. Then click on enter. Then ask you for name. The first name you want to use. Second name in the address that you want to use to log in to your poster server so in this case I will put in my email address and uh, the name and the uh, password I want to use to log in so after the all command then you're going to access your um, URL so you open your phone browser to set up your DNS and uh, Sending your book mail. So once you log in this way, you click on create post organization, and then you can put in the name you want to use. So there we use Ben, and then click on create, then build your post server, then the name um, is Anne. Create it now. The next thing you need to do is to add your domain. So you click on add domain to add your post domain. Don't 
worry if you are getting this code everything is included everything is included how you can go step by step so you don't need to worry about this is just a quick demo to show you how things work here so i'm going to configure all these now then um don't worry the configuration file and the dns record will be given to you when you order this course so so once everything has been set up you just need to click on check my records are correct so you should have a green room screen in every corner of it you can see everything is green sd sdf bgm bmx and the return part so the next thing we have to do before we send our message is to configure our refresh DNS. Don't worry, you get the course and we will see how you can do the refresh DNS. So let me just quickly do my refresh DNS before I make it there. Uh, once everything is done, let's try to send him a message. Let's go to messages. So let me go to send message. So let's just go make it there. So guys, um, if you want to create your own SMTP server, um, as you can see, this server it allows you to send unlimited messages out. You can see from those settings. Uh, let me show you the send limit. This is the send limit. You can see you can send unlimited messages from that server. So once it's set up this way, uh, then you attach it with your uh, email sender. You can use any email sender. Uh, but for me, I use uh, Motra Miller and Mikhail Madin. So you can use any Miller in your case. Um, to get your credentials, your SMTP credentials, you go to credentials there. You have your course credentials. Everything is going to be shown to you in our full course. So if you think you enjoy this video and uh, you want to learn the advanced skills on how you can set up your own SMTP server, let me check on the description below. So copy my number, you can check us on WhatsApp or you should mail us and uh, we'll be ready there to give you the full course at an affordable rate. So thanks for watching this video. My name is Tim Jumei Omotayo. We'll see you in the next video.